Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from LYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? So what happens again? The obvious Achilles heel of the New York Yankees. Where the best arm is available at the deadline. And another playoff contending team snatches them up. I don't know, but, um... Anthony Volpe, he's the second coming of Christ. Yeah, we also heard that about Clint Frazier. Freaking Chance Adams. Clint Frazier, who's selling sneakers on eBay now. Chance Adams, that looked like the Mad TV character. They were DFA'd. I'm not saying Anthony Volpe is not a great baseball player. But these guys that the Yankees hype up, they've never been on a Major League Baseball field. Let me scratch that. They've never seen a Major League Baseball pitch. They never had a Major League Baseball at bat. But you know who has experience on a Major League Baseball level? Luis Castillo. You know who had experience on an MLB level? Garrett Cole. You know who had experience on an MLB level? Justin Verlander, and all these other names that the Yankees miss out on when it comes to the deadline. And some other contender grabs them up. Sometimes they win the World Series, but they go further than the Yankees. So what I'm hearing now, I don't know what the Yankees' offer was to the Reds, but people are throwing out that the Reds wanted Volpe. But I think it's a crock of shit. I think his name purposely gets put out there because it minimizes the damage that it causes to uh, Cashman's reputation. Because it's a broken record. We've seen this over and over. It's the, like I said, it's the obvious Achilles heel of the New York Yankees. They could never get that arm to put them over the top. And it makes you hate on the Yankees prospects. I don't want to hate on the Yankees prospects. But these guys are always getting in the way. Of the Yankees winning a World Series championship. And they've already tried that experiment. You got Judge. You need to pay the man. You need to extend him. 2016. You let uh, A-Rod go to make room. You you were rebuilding, right? You called up Judge. Uh, Tyler Austin. You had Gary Sanchez in the mix. You had all these young players. You traded for Clint Frazier as well. Chuck E. Cheese head Chance Adams was hyped up to be the next Roger Clemens. This is a broken record. You've already tried to rebuild. Now build on what you build, dummies. Now you're probably going to try to work out a trade with the A's, who always try to fleece you. Now you have some sort of love fascination for Quintana. Now it's time to make that second-rate trade, right? Go out for that second-rate pitcher that never works out for the New York Yankees. Look, I'm not the type to hype up trades or whatever because, judging by the Yankees' uh, track record, obviously I'm an old-school kind of guy. I literally saw the Yankees go out there and get the best players that they possibly could. But under how it doesn't happen anymore, so I don't want to hype people up. But you better go out there and check on Huang Soto. You had better had done your homework. And if it comes out that the Nationals wanted a Volpe or Dominguez with other players sprinkled here and there, and you didn't pull the trigger, you are not a serious baseball team. But let's forget about offense right now. The main priority always has to be starting pitching. The main priority always has to be arms, even in the bullpen. They don't do it. They don't do it. Then they sell. Look, 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 this is what the Yankees are going to do. They're going to go out there and supposedly maybe get a Montas, right? And they're going to sell it as, wow, this guy is uh, better than Luis Castillo. The Yankees won the trade deadline. Heck, I'm not saying that uh, Montaz is a bad pitcher. But if you ask me, who would I pick 
I would have picked Luis Castillo. And other teams that wanted to trade for Luis Castillo would pick Luis Castillo, just as the Mariners did. Heck, the Yankees are probably not going to even get him. The A's are probably going to ask for the same kind of players that the Reds asked for. They're just probably going to settle for Quintana. Or here, here, here's another, because they're so predictable now. They're probably going to settle on trading for two third-rate pitchers. And say, oh, two are better than one. <laughs> they're so predictable. They always miss the chance to put them over the top. And they always sell the fans we have prospects. They're the second coming of Christ. They're going to be the next Derek Jeter. They're going to be the next Roger Clemens. Does it happen? You know, when it does happen, when the Yankees do not hype prospects, like uh, Robinson Cano. Remember Ching Ming Wang came out of nowhere as well? It's always the flying under the radar players that always become successful as a New York Yankee. So Yankees fans, like always, what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.